everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. Well, I'm in front of the school, as you can see, our own school, and uh, I want to do a little tour of some of the stuff that's been going on. It's been very busy here, even though school's out. But before I do that, let me get into the shade here so I don't have to squint into the, whew, into the bright lights of the sun there. And I just wanted to offer my thoughts as we um, are now coming up well, off of this last weekend with the great tragedies that occurred at that Trump rally. I don't need to go into the details. You've all seen probably the videos and watched the news about it. But I just want to remind us again of my last video where I talked about our circle of influence and our circle of interest. We had a circle of interest around what had happened. And it's important that we pray as a number one way to be mindful of the things that have happened and ask God to help uh, heal and to change hearts about anybody else that may be considering to do violence in this world. And that may be ourselves even. We may be wanting to lash out because we're angry or upset or whatever it might be. But we need to be better than that and focus on our, that is our circle of influence. And that means to pray for those around us, pray for our friends and our families, pray for ourselves that we would maintain a sense of peace, a sense of unity amongst ourselves, and also, most of all, to once again focus ourselves on what God wants in our lives and where we need to change as well. But then, of course, the circle of interest, pray for all those people who have been affected uh, where the actual Trump rally occurred and for uh, especially the family of those who have lost a loved one. Pray for the family of the assailant. Uh, that, I can only imagine what that is. So just that's what I'd recommend about those things that have happened. I'm very willing to chat with you if you have any kind of uh, cautions or questions or you just want to talk through what had happened uh, because some of this may need just kind of a debriefing uh, from a faith perspective. And I'm happy to do that with you. Just call the office and make an appointment. I'll sit down with you and, and listen and we can and talk about what, what happened. So that's that. That's number one. And I want to make that sure that I, sp I spoke about that. Uh, Aaron in our previous video also talked about it as well. Now what I'd like to do is give you a tour, if you will, at our, around the school here about what's been going on. Now I'm holding my camera, so it might be a little bumpy. But over here, we had an area that just got filled in with concrete and rock. What we had here was an uneven situation, an uneven set of, um, I'd say they're pavers. And that created, we felt, a potential tripping hazard for people. And we didn't want to have an issue of anybody injuring themselves. So that was paved over. Behind that, over here, right here, you'll see gravel. We had some, a uh, group came out, Banner is the, the construction company, and they're doing more work in the back of the school. The water was leaking here and going underneath the gym into the, the cafeteria during big rainy days. And that became an issue, uh, obviously, for the school. In times when there was lunch to be had and there was a lot of water they had to deal with. It wasn't like a flood, but there was enough water to be bothersome and that we can't have that. So what they did is they basically dug a trench, put a French drain in there, covered it up with rock, and hopefully that'll take care of and make the water go underneath the building. But underneath the building or past the building, there's some more problems, similar problems with the water, and I'll take you through that as well. So I got an out. See if I can get my keys out here and we'll do a little walking tour. So here we go. I hope you're doing well with the summer heat. All right. Let's see here. So as I'm walking, of course, there's always the all kinds of boxes coming in for preparing for school, various things. And down the way here, the halls are a mess. Okay, go look at this. Oh, we're going to go downstairs. Oh, hey, wait a second. What's happened here? There was a piece of art here. Where'd it go? Let me help you out with that. Before we go down there, we're gonna walk over here. So I was in dialogue with the artist that helped our students create some of the murals that we have uh, had up for 20, well, hold on, since 20, 2003. So we're talking 21 years. And the, the actual art is here. So we had to place it upside down. And on here are the names of the students themselves who did the artwork. These are not that heavy. They're beautiful, 
but uh, we wanted to clean up things, as, you know, and refresh the school spaces, the hallways, etc. So we have these two pieces of art. We're hoping to be able to uh, sell them off to somebody. If you have a big wall, and they're beautiful. If you have a big wall, that might be something that uh, you might want. But this is where one of them was, right here. This is was a kind of a, a bright, like mustard color, and it just got painted to this kind of a light sky blue color. So there we go. Going downstairs. Just so you know, all the way, that paint comes all the way downstairs into the entryway to the cafeteria. There we are, but we're not going to go to the cafeteria. We're going to go outside to show you the rest of the construction that's been going on. So follow me. Here we go. Hope my hand doesn't get in the way. It's going to get noisy. So there's some of the construction. They brought in a bunch of rock and dirt. There's the guys doing their work. I'm just taking video to say hello. How's it going? This is, yeah, we're, I'm doing video of your construction for our school parents and seeing what's going on. They're, they're on vacation and wonder what's going on at school. So, so Banner's busy. Yeah. So there is a rock truck, but here's a cool, I call this a, a rock Zamboni. So they would put rocks in here and then move it around so they could use that. So here's the rock itself. So what's going on is we have had in rainy days, not only the issue in the cafeteria, but out in the playground, the playground would get all muddy. And what we believe happened, and they think, the banner construction thinks also possibly what's going on is that the drain that is here, well, this is the new drain, the green, the green pipe, or blue-green pipe, is the pipe that we'll be putting in. But underneath here is an old set of pipes that was probably crushed when they installed some of the playground, the newer playground equipment. You can see, I'll walk over here, the old French drains here, so they've seen that. So that's a pretty inferior product compared to what we have today. But if you look around the uh, playground, you get all these pipes. So this is a, what's considered French drain because of the, the pipe doesn't uh, just hold water. It actually lets the water out through the holes. But hopefully what the idea is when water then seeps underneath the, the uh, concrete here, the part of the playground that's covered, that then it would come in here, but not just stay here, but then come into the pipes and then flow down one of the pipes or be drained below the playground into the point where I see they keep this is where more pipes going to be put in. There's the French drain is still underneath here, the old French drain. And you have a little baby. Is that a mini excavator? Well, excavator mini. And as you can see, they have created here's like one of the old pipes. And they've dug a trench, you can see there. And this is all below, even further below the. Uh, upper pipes that we had done, upper drains, so that water then would, if it's in the parking lot, it would come under the parking lot, it would hit the part of the, the side of the building, go into that French drain, which will then pour it away from the building, and then possibly into this area where it'll get further drained into, hopefully, into the field. That's my understanding of this anyway. So that's what's going on. It's not boring here. It's very active, and uh, yeah, these are some of the projects we've been planning to do during the, the school year. I want to thank you for all that you all do for your kids. I hope you're all safe. I hope that your vacations are faith-filled and that you're finding a place to go to church. You can always go to like, uh, what is it, masstimes.com if you're looking for a place. Uh, but we're going to be hopefully having some renovation here. You will probably not notice it when you get back. That's the whole idea. So you can see it under construction here. And there's all this equipment, but it'll be gone very shortly, hopefully. Uh, I think the next week or so, this should be completed. So that's it, everybody. Have a great week, and I'll see you this weekend. Father Anthony is preaching, so pray for him. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.